Okay, this is a short class session, and, and uh, when we get into the nitty-gritty here, you're going to see that I'm more interested in you understanding this concept than I am in you um, being able to do the math that comes with it. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about spending, and I want you to know the difference and explain the difference between using marginal spending versus average spending to evaluate nonprofit financial decisions. Now, we've talked before this semester that... Um, spending ratios like program ratios are not particularly informative and that there's a lot of misleading information out there. But still, nonprofits should be thinking about maximizing their program effectiveness. And that's where this um, ob the, where um, this discussion and this, this concept become particularly useful. All right, so let's talk about the difference between the two. And to illustrate, I'm going to give you a scenario. So let's pretend that we have a charity spending $120,000 a year on admin costs and four hundred and eighty dollars on program costs. And then that organization gets a new gift of $200,000. Okay, and with that money they decide, well, let's just uh, divvy it up equally, or sort of pro rata between the two uh, activities. So now their admin costs are one sixty, dollars and their program costs are six forty. dollars um, in the latter case, their program ratio is about 20%, meaning, or sorry, 80%, or meaning 20% is spent on overhead, 80% is spent on programs, which is a pretty good program ratio if you're going to be evaluating nonprofits that way. Um, but you'll notice this is the exact same program ratio that they had before they got the money. Now, at first blush, you might think, oh, big deal, they still have the same overhead ratio, but there's an important point to make here, which is that new money for a nonprofit does not necessarily mean that their program ratio should stay the same. In fact, the odds are their program ratio should change as a result of new money. It's rarely true that uh, program costs typically require that an increase in program costs require an equal um, increase in admin costs. Usually, an increase in program costs requires still an increase in admin costs, but not quite as dramatic as the increase of program costs. Um, this is because you probably have capacity with your administration to take on more program opportunities if you had additional revenue for those programs. You don't necessarily need, for example, to hire an extra accountant just because you got more money. Um, and so, again, you know, program ratios are not the most useful way to evaluate the way nonprofits uh, operate because they could have great program ratios and terrible impact. But if you're a nonprofit that has good impact, this is an important concept because it illustrates the point that new money isn't necessarily best divvied up between admin and program costs. In fact, um, if you increase your admin costs, it, it, it uh, might be wasteful. Um, a lot of <clears throat> donors that are savvy to the whole program ratio thing, they think of the, the overhead ratio as something like a price of a donation. Donors only look at average program expense ratios if they look at these at all. And expense ratios are something like a price on their altruistic opportunity, meaning they don't get satisfaction by funding overhead costs. They only get satisfaction by funding program costs. And so the result is, is your overhead cost is kind of like a price, or even you could consider it like a tax on their donation. What donors don't realize, though, is that when they donated a given price or a given program ratio, um, the price should go down because of their donation, meaning an increasing amount of revenue should improve the program ratio because the nonprofit doesn't, like I said, need to hire another accountant. Um, and, and this is a moral hazard. And a moral hazard, um, we will talk about this in class, this is basically a situation in which a person is incentivized to act contrary to the way we want them to act. So we create a financial incentive for a certain kind of behavior, but it's not the desirable behavior. Um, so the paper you read makes the point that for most charities, is, is when revenue increases, admin costs and program costs both go up, and they go up by, by the same amount, or they tend to. But the interesting thing is that for most charities, when revenue decreases, admin costs tend to stay the same, whereas program costs tend to go down. So when nonprofits are short on revenue, the first thing they do is cut programs. Um, and that's because they are admin, the people making these decisions. And they don't want to fire themselves. Um, now, that's a pretty cynical perspective. But, uh, but the basic idea is there's certain key admin costs. Some of them you can't get rid of, but some of them they don't want to get rid of because um, program costs are easier to cut. And the paper measures a change in program ratio to create what's called a marginal program ratio. 
And this is basically a measure not of how nonprofits spend their money on average, but how they will spend new money. If, this, if the number that results from this equation is negative, it means that uh, more money will be spent on admin costs in the future. And if it's positive, it means more money will be spent on programs. If you're curious about the equation, it's basically dividing the difference between actual spending and the amount that maintains the current ratio by the change in total spending in the excess of the amount that maintains the current program ratio. Um, and so uh, if you look at um, an example here, we've got the YMCA Chicago and the YMCA of, of D.C., um, if you look just at program ratios, the YMCA Chicago is more efficient with an 88% program ratio versus YMCA DC, which only has an 80% program ratio. And that's interesting. And if you're a donor, all else being equal, you'd probably give your money to YMCA Chicago. But when you look at their marginal program ratio, which can be developed using the math that was on the last slide, um, what you see is that if you give more money to YMCA Chicago, then on average they're going to spend an increasing amount on administrative costs, whereas YMCA DC, if you donate to them, they will be increasing their program costs instead, uh, which is where you pref prefer your money going generally as a donor. And so again, you know, I'm curious to know which one you guys would donate to under this situation, under this circumstance. Um, some caveats about this. Um, some nonprofits may reasonably need to keep their ratio constant to be effective. So this is not a perfect measure. Just like the program ratio itself is not a perfect measure of nonprofits' effectiveness, um, this is not either. Uh, the NPR should be used with the regular program ratio, not used to replace it, um, obviously, because I could have a great NPR and a terrible average ratio. Um, and an NPR based on one year will probably be inaccurate. This is a lot like tracking elasticity relative to the economy. Um, if you take just a one-year snapshot, uh, you're not going to get an accurate picture of how the nonprofit tends to spend new money. And that's it. I think that might be a record for our shortest class session of the semester.